What's up guys, it's Drak, and by now you have already seen my video on the Cinder, which I think is an okay offering, but ultimately like not crazy. This on the other hand was my favorite thing that aside from the camera glare, I got the chance to look at up in Pawtucket about a month ago. And I think that the Torin is a serious offering, partially because it's 30 United States dollars and requires no batteries. Call me a sucker, I like pump action springers, I always have. But this one is fairly priced and uh, comes with the same sort of creature features that we've come to know and love from the hobby. It's still using the sort of new standard for Nerf Pro darts, which is this magazine. It's using their new darts, which have a unique tip geometry to them. But this is the Springer, which is the reason that they have a unique tip geometry and it's mag and grip. Mag and grip is so cool. With a full-size magazine, it might be a little bit to get a hand on. Handle on? Hand? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, claiming up to 150 FPS performance, it's also advertising that it's pump action. Torrent's not a bad name. And then on the back here, showcasing, you know, similar control suite to what we're used to. Trigger lock is where you'd expect. The stock is removable. I bet there's something hiding underneath. Pack rail up top, but it looks like not quite as much bulge leading into it. And then a pump grip uh, that only a mother would love. But, you know, maybe we'll fix that later on. Extreme accuracy, high velocity, outstanding durability. Outstanding or is Nerf advertising now that it's easier or better that, that their products drop better? Yes, I mean I if that's what you want to advertise. All right, so in the box you get instructions, cardboard, blaster magazine, eyeglasses, which as per usual are not branded or special in any way. These nickel pop eyeglasses you could find on any OSHA compliant construction site in your area. They don't say Hasbro, they don't say Nerf, they don't say much of anything. Are they impact rated? We won't claim that they are, um, but for 100 FPS play, it's better to have something than nothing. Definitely a good include on their part. I just think that it's a really cheap opportunity to value add. So I'm gonna keep talking about how it's a really cheap opportunity to value add for the customer. Make them clear with orange earpieces and have them say Nerf on the side. It will cost you less than five cents per unit. Blaster comes with enough darts to load at once. You've got 15 darts, they go in the magazine. When you do that, it looks like this. So we're gonna save a little bit of time and throw this into the grip. Honestly, for a full-size grip and mag, this is about as tight as you could make it. And you can see that when you look inside here. This is pretty thin. The orange is over-molded onto the gray in an attempt to keep this you know, as thin as possible. It's a little bit thicker than gripping a magazine because that's how physics works, but it's not bad, it's not bad. I wear a size large glove and uh, you know, I can fit around it pretty comfortably. I can get all the way around it. This is aged for 14 and up, so uh, you know, do with that information what you will, but probably not for younger foam flingers in particular because I don't think that they could hold it properly. This is not the kind of thing that you're hitting your finger as like a control to knock off the safety because I can't get my index finger to pop it and it goes forward. Forward is fire, back is safe. So I guess you could flick it into safe with your dominant hand, but you're not getting it into fire mode that way. As far as the stock goes, we have another pop-off stock leading into an in-strike attachment. This one's not bad, just because it's not bullpuff, it's further behind the action, you're still really tight in here. If you're the age range and the hand size that you need to operate this blaster, this is not gonna be enough stock for you, as evidenced by the fact that it's really not enough stock for me. Uh, however, again, you know, just like the eyeglasses, something is better than nothing and it is 30 United States dollars. So it is nice of them to not just stick you with this explicitly. You do have the in-strike attachment point. You could put a Raider stock on here and virtually any stock that's like, you know, Springer adjacent from the last 15 years they've been doing this is gonna comfortably fit on here and give you extension out to about here, which is where you wanna be. Like I said, relatively flat top, which means that this pseudo pick rail Top rail is gonna give you laser or a light ability pretty comfortably. This is the part that I get really funky with though. I like AFGs. This AFG feels weird. It's also the whole, ooh. How did I not notice that earlier? Ooh, that's not good. Talk about that in just a second. The blaster primes the entire shell, which is, I can't open the jam door comfortably. All right, let's get a wedge in there. 
All right, so it's got a jam door inside. Presumably when I prime it forward, it'll close that jam door and then it'll be good to go. When I prime it again, the jam door has been closed. That's good for safety. You don't want to pinch yourself in there. The tactical rail, this whole thing slides around it. Like, I mean, I don't think you can double prime. So there is a double prime lock. Let me fire once. Does it have a metal barrel? Ooh. It looks like the barrel's plastic, lads. I hate to I hate to say it. Kudos to Hasbro that they're getting, you know, that kind of performance out of a plastic barrel in the breech, but when the entirety of the competition across the board is giving you an aluminum machine barrel, it's definitely not a point in its favor. This monster slide is a little funky. And again, like I like AFGs. The AFG is like the grip is big, but fits. The AFG is small. I can't fit all of my fingers on the AFG, which means I can't get the kind of purchase on it that I want. Now, in the spirit of fair play, this is not a heavy prime, right? I mean. <laughs> the panel, the panel is made of poster board. On the, the the target that I shoot is made of poster board. 150 FPS is apparently to knock hot glue poster board off. So that's that's a little funny, a little amusing, a little goof for you guys. Anyway, the product overall at 30 bucks is solid. I mean, I think that its modification potential is exciting. I do like that they're saying eyewear required on here because if you are doing battle with something like this, you should have something covering your eyes. He said while firing at things that could easily ricochet into him at a close distance without, maybe we should, good looking out Hasbro, well done. Well done, uh, the gentleman's eye protection. The thing that I was going to mention is that uh, for other hobbies specifically, a comfortable place for me to rest my trigger finger is right here. While I'm priming, this is where I want my trigger finger to be. When I prime like this, I break my trigger finger by crushing it, it's, not ideal to have, I don't know why. I don't know why we decided that the first Nerf Pro Springer needed to have a full body slide. It was probably to be different. It's different. Of note, when it's fully primed, if you have your, it like encompasses, it like nests over the tail of this thing. You see what I'm saying there? Like the blaster, looks modular at first take, and it really isn't all that modular. The combination of a stock that's mated to its slide, a pump grip that is the outer shell of the blaster, and a barrel system that seems mated to its own geometry. It's gonna be really interesting to crack this one open and see what's inside, but for right now, let's take it down to the range and put a few shots over the chronograph and fix our target. All right, guys, so we're trying to fall in love with the torrent. We've got a target downrange at about 40 feet. I can't get over the whole body slide here. Jinx, Jinx, come here. You don't need to be downrange. Jinx is roughly, the torrent is one. Do you, okay. Jinx is gonna be firing the torrent. No, no, she's not. She's just not gonna be downrange. Go on, Jinxie. Good stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's put a few down range. Obviously, we were getting right in around 140 to 150, so pretty fairly advertised in that sense, although there were a couple of outliers that were way low. I imagine that it has something to do with chambering into a plastic barrel, uh, but that was pretty accurate. Did I test if it has slam fire? All right, we have plenty. All of those were on target, which is relatively accurate. Again, you're not mag dropping with this at all, but the ambi mag release is definitely a nice feature. All right, uh, slam fire, yes or no? No. No slam fire, and it led to a weird chambering. Might just be the most accurate Nerf blaster I have used out of the box ever, ever, maybe. Kind of cool, kind of cool how many of those were just dead on exactly, exactly where you want them to be. Even the ones that don't fly 100% true, their spread is not a huge deviation. They are still connecting with the target and the target is only so big. This is a spicy meatball. 
At $30, I think that there's a lot of work that we could do to improve this. I think that a better pump grip would serve it very handily, something that doesn't crush your fingers when firing properly. But I mean, overall, a lot of power for a Magnum grip blaster that's delivering that kind of performance and frankly, that kind of accuracy. It's hard to believe it has a plastic barrel. Whereas I think that, you know, not having a guide is really affecting the sender. I think that the torrent is quite, quite solid, quite reasonable. And again, it's $30. This is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I would be remiss if I did not remind you that we have our ongoing promotion over at Foam Pro Shop and BlasterBarn.com. The code is FALL30. It's 30% 30 off of just about everything. That's everything on Barn and most of the stuff on Foam Pro Shop, just omitting some of the stuff that we get a lot of labor behind over there. But oh, we're trying to clear off some shelves. We're trying to make way for the next chapter. And it would mean a ton to us if you went over and took a look at the wares while we've still got that sale going on. It would mean so much to us that we're willing to give you 30% off, which is our best sale ever of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel that way. Thanks for supporting the channel over on the web stores. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I think this is an awesome blaster. Much love. Drac out. <laughs>